Hey guys, it's my day that I'm going to my second opinion at University of Pennsylvania. Um, I think we got here good timing. How much time do we have, Missy? We have 20 minutes. Um, I made my sister go to the wrong way. Oh well. <laughs> I'm not good at directions and whatever. Um, but we're on a cool shuttle bus, which is really nice, but then again, it's to University of Penn, so the Perlman Center, the probably into people are going to be in chemo and keep it clean, but there's these really nice seats. And we're sitting in the back. I'm not going to show you Miss seat. I'm not showing you. <laughs> I'm showing the seat. <laughs> so I'll keep you up to date, right? I don't know how much they'll let me do when I'm in the hospital. Hey, I'm back. We're, I'm going to show you CHOP universe. Right there is CHOP. There. I hope you can see it. I think you can. It's Philadelphia. Oh, there's the proton therapy. It's your third proton therapy building. That's cool. The proton therapy machine. Have you ever seen them? They have it They're huge. Yeah, I saw that when they were bringing it. Crazy big. So it came in on this massive truck. Oh my gosh. How long did it take for it to come in or to be pushed once they got the delivery? I don't know because I, um, I was only, I'm only there one day a week. Oh, okay. Cool. All right, so I'm back on. I actually see the Perlman Center. It's right there. That's where we're going. One of these days, my sister will be okay with me videoing her, but not right now. <laughs> Sorry for the sun if it's in its eyes. I can't imagine me having to go here by myself. It's not St. Mary's. Not Philly. I mean, it's not Langhorn. <laughs> That's for sure. Thank you. We are here. Yay. I'm here in the room. I just finished consulting with the doctor and uh, another doctor who was shadowing her. We really liked her. Um, I think I did. She gave us wonderful answers and she gave me another answer. And it is a trial that they have here, oddly enough. There's one spot left and it's been there for a while and she's been testing people and nobody's been exactly the right fit. And it's for melanoma and breast cancer. It's already known to work in lymphoma. Um, it is something where basically they take out your T cell which is kind of an immune, like for, for your, what attacks, what kind of like, a, uh, Missy, can you help me? What is, they take it out, they re-engineer it, and they put it back in. But it's it's something, if people don't know what the T-cell is, mm -hmm. what is a T-cell? It's basically something that's in your body that helps fight and, and kill stuff. Sometimes it's killing your good stuff, sometimes it's killing your bad stuff, but they try to re-engineer it and train it to... Um, attack the cancer that I have, whatever it is, or whatever's in there. And uh, like I said, there's only one, and it's started here at U of Penn, and uh, that's where I get it, and it's not like long stuff, but it does take some time, a lot of tests. One thing um, we were a little upset about is they didn't, they sent over all the written stuff, but they haven't received the discs with the actual um, imaging so they can read these tests, so she needs to wait till they all come in. I did sign the paper already to tell them to go and start the process because that takes about two weeks just to, well, no, she has to first go over my stuff with the tumor board, get the stuff, then go over it with the tumor board, and then they'll call me, and if um, it's what the tumor board agrees with and everything, then I will come in for blood work well they'll take a blood work out and they'll test the to see if I have this 
one protein? If you're negative for T cells, you don't qualify. Okay, hold on. I'll call you back. So, oh. Nope, that's okay. <laughs> I'm going to just put this on pause. Okay. Sorry about that. I just had the doctor come in. Um, so anyway, I think it was talking about, I don't know what I was talking about, but basically I'm going to get my labs to test. They'll take blood out. They'll see if that whatever the protein is that I have that I qualify, if I qualify, if I do, then maybe in the end I'll come back in and have this treatment and uh, it won't probably be for another month and a half, they said, a month that I would start. But in the meantime, she says to go ahead and start um, a chemo with my doctor. Um, and they'll be doing this in the background, but she's also going to call my doctor and talk to him about it. Um, so she, I see, I feel like there's hope, more hope than there was before. Um, and we'll be hearing from the geneticist, gene and doctor, what is that? Is no, that what she is? We're the research coordinator. Research coordinator will be calling us and we'll know a little bit more information. In the meantime, we have a 20 page people thing to read. So, um, and we're done here and I will fill you in, keep you up to date. All right. Bye guys. You want to say bye? You're not getting a picture of her. She's just shaking her head. <laughs> not everybody in my family wants to be on camera. Oh, well, <laughs> bye-bye.